Atensyonado ang wedding na ito, ano? Even mga yapak ng paan, hindi ka dyan ano? <laughs> Alright. In behalf of BCIDT Law Office and General Consultancy, we would like to share these insights on marriage law on Philippine setting. So our foreign friends also can understand you. We have been tasked by our lovely couple here today to help them realize their dream wedding and legalize their marriage rights today. Since we are instrumental in doing so, we felt it's our legal obligation as well to remind them as they face this new chapter in their lives, the duties and responsibilities mandated by law. We also deem it important to share to our couple some practical insights on married life. Simply because, just like other successful couples, we want them to live happily ever after. I will tell you the secret, how to live happily ever after. Gerald and Anna Jane, we want you to enjoy all the blessings of a happy marriage. Of course, you prepare for this. And when this day comes, so from Kapasi Gerald Kanina, so, the government is instructing us to really remind every couple that what you are doing today is not easy, not the obligations attached to it. This is what God wants. This is His will. For you to find, to find yourselves forever. What? However, God made His ways for you to find each other is another story. And aside from Him, this is what our state wants, the government. For you to live forever as spouses, as a happy family. And so the state wants you to be reminded of the legal side of marriage. These have been summarized from a number of family cases decided by our Supreme Court involving spouses. I will not enumerate each item. These are all self-explanatory. These are your duties under the law. Duty to live together in one home. Duty to observe mutual love and respect. Duty to observe mutual fidelity. Duty to render mutual help and support. Duty to manage the household. Duty to support the family. Duty to fix the domicile. That's your respective duties. It should be under the law. On the other hand, these are your rights as a couple under the law. Number one, the right to cohabitation, the right to sexual intimacy, the right to procreate, the right to jointly exercise parental authority over the children, the right to be supported by the other spouse, the right to be loved and be comforted, the right to jointly fix the family residence, the right to manage the household, the right to exercise any legitimate profession, the right to give and receive moderate gifts to and from each other. Right to retain the ownership, possession, and administration of your exclusive separate properties. So these are your duties and rights as a couple. So if any of you fail to fulfill these duties prescribed by law, there are remedies provided by law, but we will not share them with you anymore because we don't want you to reach that point. Because your chosen wise man and woman here, played by your principal sponsors, as your second parents, to guide you, to help you. So to our dear principal sponsors, may we remind you that you are not just witnesses here today, as required by law, 